there's been a lot of work done by Irish historians on kind of uh, alternative narratives of, of uh, at the time. So I think this is, a, you know, it's a, it's a very interesting time to reappraise. Don't overfill the jam tin, Milo. It'll blow before you throw it. Share one I was astonished that the amount of uh, women who were involved in uh, in the rise, not only the rising, but involved in politics at the time. Um, and I wanted to tell the story not only of how that sort of multicultural Irish state was lost, but also how, I suppose, women were airbrushed from Irish history. It's a very interesting angle to approach the script from three young women um, from different um, parts of Ireland, different social experiences, different educational experiences, and, and just see how a happening affects their lives. Over 250 women were out. Um, but I think both sides were embarrassed by them, you know, even when they were, when they, uh, they were taken prisoner at the end. They tried to tell the women to go home because the British didn't want to be seen to be arresting women. Uh, they certainly didn't want to be seen to be executing. Um, so in one sense, it's kind of a convenient, uh, it's been a convenient lapse of history uh, for both the Republican and the, the British side to pretend uh, the women weren't involved. You must do it like you mean it. Very often when I see things about the rising, um, the women seem to be misinformed or kind of unaware or a little bit ignorant of what they're doing, kind of passing messages and, oh, I didn't know. I'm sure that women knew a lot more. And also the fact that that in, in history, a lot of the women have, were, were kind of siphoned off and, and written out of history. Even Elizabeth Farrell, when she kind of went over to surrender and, uh, and she was literally uh, erased from a photograph and you just see her boots. So that's a great example. I think what's different is that the women in this, they all know what's happening and they all choose how to behave and what they want to do and what part they want to take it or not. Just the fact that they're present and that they're real and they're not just somebody's girlfriend. <laughs>